Howard Lenoid Bingham said, a photographer's best work, like that of a writer, is shaped by his experiences. He said, as I look back on it now, I see that my whole life, for better or for worse, richer or poor, has been tied up with the black struggle for liberation and for dignity. I've been married to the movement, end quote. Howard Bingham was the son of a minister and Pullman Porter. Bingham was one of the first black photographers to work on a Hollywood International Cinematography Guild's camera crew. His photographs have been published in magazines and periodicals including Life and Look and Time and Newsweek and Sports Illustrated, People, Ebony and, and, and many others. He was the recipient of the prestigious APS Award for Ex Excellence. In 2006, Bingham was the, re was the recipient of the Gordon Parks Choice of Weapon Award. In 2008, Bingham was honored by the Congressional Black Caucus with the coveted Celebration of Leadership in Visual and Performing Arts Award. And this book is special. Bingham said, my hope is that the photographs and essays featured here in Black Panther inspire a new generation to know history, to know the struggles, to know that leaders that came before them and to feel both responsibility and limitless potential that awaits them, end quote. Howard Bingham. See, you must study those that came before you. As an artist, as a photographer, you must study the works of the ancestors that their work might actually speak to you and speak through you. I love this book. And one of my favorite images in this book is this one right here. This one of, of Howard Bingham and Gilbert Moore. Howard Bingham was a photographer assigned to do this story from Life Magazine and Gilbert Moore was the um, writer for the article. But guess what? Life Magazine never published the article. So Howard Bingham and Gilbert Moore had to find something to do with the work. And we're blessed to have it here. Because in this book, you not only have the images of Howard Bingham, you have the essay by Gilbert Moore. You have the introduction done by Howard Bingham. You have the essay by Tessa Hicks. You have the essay by Maura Hollingsworth. You have the essay by Earl Hutchinson. You have the essay by Bernard Kinsey. In this book, you meet the leaders of the movement. Eldridge Cleaver, Kathleen Cleaver, Bobby Seale, Huey Newton. You, you get to see the, the folk in the movement from portraits to everyday folk doing the work. This is a beautiful book. The images are stunning and powerful and the images show the relationship that Howard Bingham had with that community. He was raised in and in Los Angeles, he understood the Black Panthers. He, he was connected to them. See, as an African-American photographer, as a photographer of color, as a photographer committed to the struggle, you are responsible to tell our story. Only Howard Bingham could capture these images this way. The intimacy in the relationship is there. And Bingham says, I hope this work inspires the next generation of photographers to do the work. Yeah, we're responsible. Now, that's a strong word. We are, we are responsible to continuing the struggle. And when you study Bingham's work and read the essays in this book and begin to meet and resonate with the leaders of these movements, real people like you and I who committed themselves to freedom, 
See, on this channel, we're committed to developing a community of conscious artists who realize we are called to make a real difference in the lives of real people. It doesn't mean we don't do other types of work, but a part of our work must be committed to the struggle. So I commit this book to you, Howard Bingham's book, Black Panthers, 1968. Howard Bingham has another popular book that I'll review at another time. He had a 30 year relationship with Muhammad Ali and that's a great, great body of work. But I encourage you, go out and get this book from your local library, but it should be in your personal library and respect our ancestor, Howard Bingham. Listen, on this channel, the soul of an artist, we're committed to developing a community of conscious artists who support each other and who actually creates bodies of work that make a real difference in the lives of real people. Listen, I'm your host, Dr. Ralph Vasui Watkins, a scholar with a camera. I want to thank you for joining me. I want to ask a favor of you. Please, if this content has blessed you, please share it with your friends and colleagues. Please smash the like button and give me one, 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 one more favor. Share with me in the comments section how your work is contributing to the liberation and freedom of our people. Please share that in the comments below. Hey, we create content every single week. And if you want to be notified when we drop a new video, please subscribe to the channel. Now listen, you were created to create something beautiful. So go and do just that. Go and create. I'm Dr. Ralph Basui Watkins, the scholar with the camera, and I'm out. I'll see you next time.